I just want to make this final point because I've seen a lot of the, the calming statements that come from those who are at the negotiating table. And they always say, don't worry, this is not about changing any of the rules that we have right now. And I just don't believe that. I mean, I'm very concerned about changing rules now for the future because we need to improve. But I do believe it's about changing rules you have now. Otherwise, why would you have these provisions that they're trying to get that require a look back to existing laws and regulations and evaluating them for these <coughs> trade impacts? Why would you do that? I came over to talk about um, the concerns about regulatory cooperation and coherence. And these are proposals coming from both DG Trade and the U.S. Trade Representative. Um, one of the main concerns that I have is it really is uh, potentially overriding uh, parliamentarians, both in the United States and here in the European Union. Uh, it proposes to set up a council of essentially bureaucrats who will focus on trade to evaluate everything that is done in advance, but also looking back at regulations that have already uh, been put into effect. Uh, and so it's really anti-democratic in that process. And I think particularly, uh, you know, there's different proposals both on the U.S. side and the EU side, the American side. They're proposing this um, oversight process that in the U.S. has led to delayed regulations or not ca happening at all. Uh, and you certainly wouldn't want to import that into the European Union. But I have concerns about both proposals. And of course, in a trade negotiation process, they could very well be put together uh, and end up with the worst of all worlds. Uh, in the end, it's really a fairly undemocratic process. And I think combined with the ISDS, which avoids the court system, uh, it really is something that is pretty risky. Well, as a rapporteur of the Environmental Committee, we voted a very critical report on um, TTIP. Uh, whereby a huge majority, 58 members, uh, adopted a report stipulating clearly that uh, there are red lines in the negotiations. This is a warning for the European Commission. The Environmental Committee clearly says we don't want you to negotiate on five issues, GMOs, hormones in beef, a cloning of animals, you, you don't have to negotiate on REACH, the chemical uh, regulation, and we don't want you to negotiate on public health. I think that is the first major result which we want to be seen in the final report of the Inta Committee.